Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play King's Bounty the Dark Side. So the plan for today is to progress a bit in some Dragon Door quests. I've already moved from uh, the location where we ended up the previous part, uh, but it wasn't that far, I just climbed up this hill. I always get confused when I uh, load the game, especially in Dragon Door, like where to go now, where are the NPCs that we have to talk to. Because this is such a like confused and large location, but I think I know where to go from here and along the way we have one fight that we can do. So that is, that's what we start with, we clear this pack and then I think if we get through these doors and climb up the stair, we should get um, to the king's castle because uh, to progress in uh, two quests we need to talk to this guy Ogre Gimlet. And then we also had to flank Trivet, a foreman, and I think I know where he is, so from now on I think I'm not lost anymore. And even though we have some large parts of Dragon Door still to clear, I think it can get a bit boring if you just keep fighting these neutral stacks, so we'll try to do it at the same time as we are questing, always when we run into something we just get rid of it and uh, continue questing. Just have to make sure that we do it fast enough so that we don't lose all the rage. Um, yeah, so we can start. This pack shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, how does it look like? It's actually not bad. Mm -hmm. Let me see, where do we have to land our dragons? Cannoneers. We have only one stack of engineers, so we have some freedom. We definitely want to start with jealousy. Here or here? Probably here. And from now on, it should be the same as always. Who goes next? Our demonologists. So let's fly all the way. And let's wait in case we need healing after this turn. Get the anger up. Yeah, we will need some healing. Uh, skeletons. I think I want to start with um, uh, with the engineers. They're not the most dangerous stack, that's for sure. But uh, if we get rid of them, that will give us freedom to move around. So that's why I'm going after them. We actually don't need the heal yet. Let's be greedy. Let's pick up the treasure well. Four and a half gold. Uh, four and a half thousand gold really wasn't worth it. Uh, okay, next. Let's get the shield. This is a really good lane for Firefly, but I think I still want to kill the engineers first. Um... Is there a trap? No. Oh, by the way, how does it look like with the uh, cool, I mean, with buff duration? Yep. As usual. Time shift. That was good. I have four turns extra on target. And. Oh, let's wait again. Thank you. 
Oh, this could be a problem. Hmm. Well, let's... Uh, let's switch targets. This is 1600. How much would it be with the threat of life? 2000. Okay, let's do as much damage as possible. I think we don't even have to bother with the stone skin, they are going down pretty fast. Uh, instead, we can just keep working on metals. Okay, problem solved. called black arrow with the black arrow this should be a guaranteed kill or uh, let's go for the kill yeah this is gonna hurt Probably a good idea to get away from the miners. Oh, let's kill another stag. I just want to clear the map a little bit. Okay, can we get another kill? We can. Perfect. Anything else we can do? We can maybe wait for the next turn, get a kill with a spell, but the miners are gonna run into the trap anyway. So I'll just finish the fight. Hmm, 119 prisoners from a fight like this is not bad. Come on. Okay, and I hope that I'm not wrong. And then we can get to Ogre Gimlet this way. Yeah, he is behind this bridge. Good. And I'll risk it and give him that potion we have from the chemist. I just hope it's the right one and it makes him weaker, not stronger. Just in case we have to fight, we have still enough rage. Okay, still walking around there. Walk while you walk while you still can. Soon you won't be able to walk at all. Are you threatening me? I have a feeling we'll have to fight. 
Me? I could knock you off with one hand tied behind my back, but I have an order to guard the palace and then not to expose my army to danger. Uh, that doesn't matter though, since soon Ogre, Gim Ogre Gimlet quickly falls silent, realizing that he has uh, blurted it out too much. Well, go on. What's going to happen soon? I guess there's no harm in telling you. What can you do anyway? The king has announced a general mobilization, and soon Dragondor will have a real army. Hmm. What are our options? An army? And don't make me laugh. A crowd of miners is not an army. You need commanders, Ogre. That's one option. Or I imagine this army armed with pickaxes, clubs, and staves, where we get weapons for the whole herd. Let's ask about the weapons first. Clubs and staves? See that? O Ogre Gimlet points at a large squat building near the palace. That's the royal armory. Three generations of dwarves have stacked weapons in there. Enough to arm two armies, not just one. Okay, and where is that? Square building. I have no idea. What's he talking about? Okay, we just probably have to get through and we'll find that armory somewhere. And what about the commanders? Ha, huh. our army is being trained by Ronnie the Brawny himself, the best commander this side of the Great Mountain. If he's not a worthy commander, then I don't know who is. With his leadership, we can move mountains. Okay. No idea who Ronnie the Brawny is. I think I should go, Gimlet. Well, that's it. So what do you have to do now? Talk to... Where is Ronnie the Brawny? Uh, and we should have another conversation option. Wasn't I clear enough last time? Get lost, Spawn of the Dark, or you'll taste my axe. Or my name's not Ogre Gimlet. Um, don't yell like that. I'm just a messenger. Here, take this. The chemist asked me to give you this potion. I don't like that it's still called a potion of strength. Well, well let's try it. Ah, uh -huh, the potion of strength at last. Ogre Gimlet uncorks the bottle and drinks it down in one gulp. He tries to comprehend his feelings for some time, and suddenly a grimace of pain flashes across his face. Well, that sounds good. Ouch, my stomach is cramping, and I'm not feeling strong at all. What was in the bottle? Well, cool, it worked the way we wanted to. How should I know? Uh, ask your precious chemist about it. Cool. Uh, so that's done. By the way, how does it look like with the strength of this army now? I don't remember what he had before, but this doesn't look too dangerous. 404 men can be annoying, the miners as well, but it's, it's doable. And now we have to go to the to the foreman, to Gno Gnawi, and we have to find that uh, Ronnie guy. I know where the first two should be, but no idea about Ronnie, okay, I was hoping that he might be in one of these uh, houses, never mind, let's just keep walking around until we find him, I guess, what is this, it's pop, right, no, uh, Totori the Sage, well, that's not someone we need. And our rage is gone already. Hmm. Okay, we need to go this way, I think, and Gnaw is here on the other side. Um, what is it here, by the way? I'm always so lost here. Um, there is a quest mark. But this should be the foreman. 
Uh, hey, good lord, I mean bad lord, come over here for a second. What is it that you want for, ma'am? It's a pleasure to be recognized. You are right, good lord. I am Flank Trivet, foreman of uh, this uh, roadway. Did you happen to see a tiny dwarf named the Rock Wimble? Who the hell is Rock Wimble? Uh... Maybe I did, or maybe I didn't. Why are you asking? You see, here's the thing, your goodness. We've stumbled upon a layer of basalt, solid as rock. Well, you know what I mean. My man and I, we decided to blow it up, but uh, we have hardly any boom powder left after the party we held last Wednesday for a little mug's birthday. Hmm. Oh... Let's cut to the chase dwarf. My time is extremely valuable. Oh, right. I got distracted. In short, I sent Rook to our chemist, Charles Atan, in the warehouse to bring me some boom powder. He shouldn't... Oh, he should have come back a couple of hours ago, but he still hasn't returned. I'm starting to get worried. Your maliciousness. Could you please check if he's alright? You'll definitely run into him if you head towards the city. Uh, what else do we have here? And you're not scared by who I am? Send one of your minus foremen? Are you their boss or what? I'm not doing you any favors for free dwarf. Well, let's just start from the top. Frankly speaking, I'm so scared I'm shaking in my boots. But uh, we uphold the traditions of uh, multiculturalism and uh, tolerance here in Dragondor. Plus... Right now, you and I are talking instead of killing each other, which means our races can coexist in peace and harmony. Um, well, this didn't tell us much. Let's. I don't really care if he pays us or not, so let's just try to ask him if he is a boss. They're all down there. They've uh, overdrawn, overworked. Uh, they've picked away all basalt all day long and got really tired. Besides, we dwarves have short legs. It'll take us forever to get there and back. Unlike you, my lord, you turn into a bat, flap your wings a couple of times and bang, you are in town. I guess we have to ask him or tell him that we are not doing any favors for free. Uh, no one's suggesting that you do it for free, your maliciousness. I'll give you a thousand gold coins. Not too much, but I'm not asking a lot, am I? Plus, you'll get the moral satisfaction of helping a dwarf in need. Uh, do we have a deal? Okay, deal for Mantrivet. Uh, if I happen to see that Rack Wimble, I'll tell him to hurry up. Outstanding, we have a deal then. If you do run into him, tell Rack to hurry up, I'm waiting. Okay... I still have no idea how exactly we should progress, but it's fine. Oh, hello. This looks like Ruck or... yep. Yeah. Wow, here in Dragondor I never expect to meet such, uh, such, such a monster as me. Yes, I mean, no. Uh, that's not what I meant, Rugwimble at your service. And my name is Dard. Wait, did you say Rugwimble? I've been looking for you. Looking? What for? Flung Trivet, your foreman, is worried about where you have been. Uh, but I see that you are coming back. I'll visit him and tell him. Hmm, here's the thing, in short. I'm not coming back. I haven't gone to the chemist yet. It's quite a long way and I have a corn. Here, take a look. The dwarf makes an attempt to pull the mining boots of his leg. No, don't. Please, take your feet away from me. Well, as you wish. Well, I can see that uh, you want to get to the chemist for a week at that speed. Maybe I can help you. How? I can go instead of you. You would really do that for me? Of course. Who was supposed to give you the explosives? Charles Atan, our chemist. He lives, uh, he lives not far away from the inn in the city. Just give him this invoice and he'll provide you with everything we need. Rack gives you a sheet of paper. Uh, wait for me here, Rook. Take the invoice and leave. Hmm. Alter the invoice. How? Yeah. 
use drop or if we try to use it this invoice issued by foreman flung trivet contains an order for chemist charles Aton to give the presenter a sack of boom powder adjust the number make it 10 back instead 10 bags instead of one cool um, I can't say I'm happy to see you, vampire. Tell me what you want. I have common business, chemist. Give him the false invoice, sure. Well, 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 what do we have here? An invoice for a batch of boom powder. Oh my, why would you need that much? It's not for me, it's for Foreman Flank Rivet. Flank Trivet. Uh, it says everything right here. I see what it says right here. I'm asking why would you need that much boom powder? Well, tell me that, the Morton. That's quite a few options. Let's go through all of them. I don't know how to answer your question, chemist. chemist. I was told to give you this piece of paper and bring back the sack that you give me. Then I'll go to Flung Tread and tell him that you refuse to give him the boom powder. Pass your hand in front of Charles Zatan's face. There is nothing unusual. <laughs> uh, Jedi Knight tricks. Uh, there is nothing unusual about this invoice. He will give me the required amount of powder without asking questions. And the last one, listen, chemists, as they were laying the rail, rail, rail as they're laying the roadway, our miners stumbled upon an unusual thick layer of red magnet cross. I'm not even gonna try to read this. Uh, Paratical iron stone. So the foreman ordered me to bring more boom powder to make sure we have enough to blow it up. Got it? Okay. As no way to know which one is gonna work, so I'll just go with the first one. All right, vampire, wait here, and I'll bring you the boom powder. And let's have a look around. Take advantage of the chemist's absence. You quickly look around the small room. You find two bottles of azure liquid on one of the tables. Do you take them? Sure. The chemist enters the room, dragging several huge sacks of boom powder. Here, there, take it. I have no idea how you are going to carry them, but it's your problem, not mine. Now, that's better, Charles Satan. Take the sacks of boom powder. And we have two mana pods for free. Uh, I guess we go back. Yep. By the way, can we go through this door? Nope. Interesting. We killed the guard on one side. There's no guard here. But obviously someone is still guarding it. Uh, there you are, Bluthers to Diary the Morton. I'm sorry, it's just that it sends shivers down my spine every time I see you. Uh, have you seen the chemist yet? I did, and he gave me something for you. Unload the sacks of boom powder. Ragnambol looks at the pile of sacks with the uh, sacks with the wide with wide eyes. Um, are all of those for me? But uh, I thought I thought that there would be a fewer sacks and that they would be small. Uh, let's go just with the first option. This is strictly according to your invoice, Rugwimble. Yes, of course. Rugwimble unsuccessfully tries to lift one of the sacks, which is as tall as he is. Listen, maybe you could uh, comply with one more request of mine. What exactly? You are upsetting me, your darkness. I thought you were more quick with it. Uh, could you do me one last friendly favor and deliver these sacks to Flunk Trivet? He's probably tired of waiting. Tell him that I will come as soon as I can. Uh, this terrible corn... Oh, the thing... The things I do for friendship. So be it. I'll help you one last time. Take the sacks, take the sacks of boom powder. Sure. Uh, no, wrong way. 
It's not the most entertaining quest ever, but it should be over soon, I hope. Well, your maliciousness, have you talked to Ruck? Uh, I spoke to that Ruck of yours. So, where is he? What's the laziest mine? Uh, where's the laziest miner ever born that disgraced the dwarven race? Don't be so harsh on him. He sprained his ankle in the dark tunnel and couldn't walk any further. He sprained his ankle? That's not surprising. I've told Gary Digger a million times that we need to introduce a lightning system in all the uh, roadways and tunnels. It's so dark that you are lucky if you uh, break your leg, not your head. But he says that's too expensive. Well. I guess I'll have to send someone else to get the boom powder. You won't flunk through it. I decided to help you out. So I went to your chemist and brought you some boom powder. Give the boom powder to flunk through it. Then what are we waiting for, Sir, Bl Sir Bloodsucker? Let's see it. Flunk through it grabs the boom powder sacks. Why so much? I believe there was less on my invoice. Oh, Charles Satan explained everything to me. He said, it's a new kind of boom powder. It's raspberry flavored and a lot safer to use. Really? All right, as long as it's raspberry flavored. Uh, do they make beer flavored powder too? Just kidding. Uh, thanks for your help, Sir Vampire. Here's your reward as I promised. Flank Trivet hands you thousand gold coins. Now I suggest you get as far uh, from here as you can. There is going to be huge bang soon. Uh, we can't get anywhere. Okay. That's it. Flank Trivet is all covered with dust and looks unsteady on his feet. He must be a little shell-shocked by the explosion. Safe for dwarves? Raspberry flavored? If I get my hands on Rag, I'll rip him into a million tiny dwarves. Being the king's nephew won't save him. Uh, to think of it playing such a dirty tricks on the whole team. Uh, what happened? Don't you see? That wretched son of Mole and Sh Shrew uh, messed something up with the invoice. And the chemist gave him 10 times more powder. Now all the progress we have made last month has gone down the drain. It's a relief that all of my men are alive. I didn't want to let him join my team, but the king insisted. Uh, please take the fellow... What? Please take the fellow, he said. Oh, okay. Uh, my late sister's only son. I am looking after him. I should have let uh, the king keep looking after him. He is a disaster of a miner. Wait, did you just say the king's nephew? Uh, who are you talking about? Yes, I did. Rook Wimble is the nephew of our king, Gary Digger. Do you think I would voluntarily take such a lazy and negligent miner into my team? Not for the life of me. Uh, if I can get my hands on him, I'll break both of his arms and never mind his leg. Uh, I think I'd better go. Okay, I think we have to capture that guy. Warn? Why would we warn him? We, would do we want to grab him and... Then talk to the king. <laughs> you are back there, the Martin. Do you know what went uh, boom just now? It's boom powder wreck. The explosion proved to be more powerful than expected, and the whole mine collapsed. Dozens were killed. How could that have happened, died? I don't know. All I know is that the foreman is looking for you. He said he would skin you alive. He blames you for uh, the mine collapse and for the fact that your whole team won't receive their quarterly bonus. Wait, wait, Botsaker. I had nothing to do with this. It was you who went to see the chemist, took the boom powder from him and delivered it to flank Trivet. I was just sleep. I mean, sitting here suffering from my corn. I will go to the foreman right now and tell him what really happened. Use your head, Rack. Whom did Flank Trivet charge with delivering the boom, the boom powder? Me. To whom did he give the invoice? Me. Who got the corn and told me an undead creature to deliver the shipment? Me. So who's to blame that the accident happened, Rook? 
You're right, vampire. Flying trivet will blame me for everything. They will sentence me to uh, corrective labor in the mine for a hundred years. No longer, though, if I'm lucky. What should I do? I think I can help you. Find a secluded place where no one will think uh, to look for you. I'll straighten things out with your foreman. Deal? All right, Arid. Let's do that. And thank you for helping me. Oh, don't mention it. Just one more thing. Uh, give me your helmet. Hmm. All right, Arid. I hope you know what you're doing. Rack gives you his old mining helmet. You may go now. I'll find you when I settle things. Take the helmet. Okay. Take Rick's helmet to the foreman. Even more running. Uh, hello, chance. Okay, we definitely don't want to fight this stack yet. If I could only get my hands on the wretched rock, I'm gonna skin him alive. I'm afraid that's not possible, Foreman. Uh, tell the made-up story about Rack's death and, and show his helmet. Flanktruet takes the helmet and examines it. Uh, yes, I do recognize Rex's helmet. This bruise was made by red-haired Don when he hit Rex with a pick. As a joke, of course. So, uh, that's it. Rex's dead and it's our fault. My fault. And I was out here cursing the, f the poor fellow. I've got to notify his uh, family immediately. Oh, poor Rex. Uh, what now? That's it. Okay. Um, and what's the result of all of this? I guess we're gonna find out at some point. Well, we finished the quest, so I guess now it's a good time to make a cut in this part. And the next part, we will try... which one? Not this one, and not this one here. Uh, we'll go to Gnawi, because I at least know where Gnawi is. And if we could find Ronnie along the way, it would be amazing. That we're gonna, that's what we're gonna work uh, on. And yeah, hopefully we get somewhere it built where it will become clear how we progress uh, in our quest to take over Dragondor. So as I said, we are done for today. So I hope that you like this part, that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.